This is part two of our series on how to wire up your flex watt heat tape. In part one, we showed you how to put the electrical connectors onto the end of the bus bars of flex watt and how to put the insulators on there as well. I have put the second one on now. I have plugged it in to make sure it works. It's heating up just fine. Now I'm going to show you how to take an electrical dimmer, a light switch dimmer essentially, and splice it into the cord so you can regulate how much power goes into your flex watt heat tape. Very important not to get too much heat generated into this. If you have a highly insulated area, this heat tape can get hot enough to melt itself, even catch on fire. Don't let that happen. A thermostat or a dimmer can be very beneficial in making sure that you're okay that way. So first of all, you want to select a position on your cord where you want that dimmer to be. I've chosen a spot about a foot and a half from the plug-in side and taken wire connectors. And I, you'll notice the two wires that are part of this cord. I have snipped through one of those wires just like that, just one of them. Don't snip through both. That's bad. Don't even break the insulation around the second one. That's bad. I've snipped through the one. Now I will take my wire cutters and just very carefully snip a little piece of that plastic there and a little piece of this plastic here because what you want to do here is get it so that you can pull these wires apart. Now give yourself a few inches, enough that you can work just like that. Pull the second one apart just like that. Now in this process you'll want to make sure that that second wire, this wire here, has no metal exposed. There's nothing exposed there. That's what you want. Okay, got a little working room. I'm going to put those over there and take my wire strippers. Now I have got this little tool that will strip wires for me nice and easy. Don't have to have a fancy tool. A, a basic wire stripper, even just a pair of uh, wire cutters can, uh, can help you strip the wires. Strip it like that. Take this side, oops, got to put it all the way through there, got to do it right, and strip it like that. My wires are now exposed. I like to twist them just to keep the, the uh, copper wires nice and tidy. Then you'll take your, your dimmer switch. You've got two wires here. All you're doing is splicing it in. One end goes here, one end goes here. That's all there is to it. You've just done some electrical work. Take those ends, twist them together a little bit, like that. Take what's called a wire nut, like this. Wire or uh, light switch dimmers come with these. Turn it on or turn it into place until it's good and tight. Give it a little tug, make sure it's in there securely. That becomes an insulator to make sure that no wires are exposed. Same thing on this side. Twist them up like so. Take your wire nut like so. Twist into place while pressing. Make sure it's good and snug. Give it a little tug. Make sure it's good. And now you have just spliced in a light dimmer. Now you could mount this somewhere if you'd like. You can strap this down with electrical tape. Do whatever you'd like. But that is now a good useful light dimmer uh, that will power or control the power going into your flex watt to make sure it's not too much. Now in part three I'm going to show you how to mount this flex watt using foil tape to any particular surface. But uh, that will do for the, the dimmer switch. But again a cautionary note you're dealing with electricity 110 volts can hurt you, can kill you. Be careful. Know what you're doing before you do it.